Hi, right, so in this video, I'm unboxing and trying out for the very first time my new electric unicycle. This is the King Song 18 XL. I'm hoping this is going to be fantastic. I know what you're thinking. I've just bought the InMotion V8, so why would I be buying this already? Um, the reason being is I've learned a lesson from falling off the InMotion V8. And it's worth, I want to be very clear, the InMotion V8 is absolutely fantastic. The lesson I learned was I like to ride at about 18 miles an hour a lot of the time. Um, the top speed on the InMotion V8 is 18 miles an hour. So what that means is I'm riding right at the top of its sort of speed capabilities um, for a lot of my ride. And I just felt it wasn't quite as safe as it could be. So for manoeuvrability, for portability, the InMotion is absolutely astounding i love the emotion v8 i think it's a superb wheel especially for a new rider um with the king song 18 xl it's got a catchy name what i plan to do with this is set the top speed to 20 miles an hour but because this wheel will do 30 miles an hour i'll be well within its capabilities and hopefully uh, i won't come off it due to a cut off at 18.6 miles an hour. That's another story. So let's get cracking and let's get it opened. Now I've got this wheel from Scooters Direct who have been absolutely excellent. They didn't give me this wheel. This isn't a sponsored video. I paid uh, full sticker price on their website. So I don't think I've been given this wheel. Um, but the service has been excellent. Um, I'm really impressed with them. So as with what quite happens when I buy things, they send me a box, and inside the box, it's just another box. I mean, that must be a shipping thing. So I won't bore you with me opening this box. I'll just uh, speed it up and put some music on, and uh, we'll see what happens when I get it out of the box. So, it's out of the box, I'm sweating. Uh, just about to take this cling film off, the sh shrink wrap, whatever it's called. Let's have a look. Oh, that's a beautiful wheel. I'm really impressed with this. It looks absolutely fantastic. So, I've got a case coming from Roll.NZ. If you're American, Roll.NZ is from New Zealand. Um, and I'm reluctant to ride it without the case, but I'm just going to have to ride it and be super careful. Um, it looks fantastic, really feels robust as a wheel. Um, I see that already that it's got um, the small pedals on. So, well, these are the standard pedals. I think King Song, if you buy a US model, they come with the large pedals as, as standard. Because I've only got size six feet, I think this is going to be, these are going to be more than enough for me. Right, so let's download the app, restrict it so I don't fall off, and um, let's get out on the road. Right, so we're finally out. Um, we're on lockdown at the moment, so I'm not gonna get any long shots, I don't think, today, because we're only allowed out for 30 to 60 minutes. For, uh, hi, are you right? <laughs> we're only allowed out kind of perfect. 30 to 60 minutes for essentials. So I'm going to the shop to get some uh, bread and some butter and some beer. Yeah, I guess if I'm at the shop, it's okay to get beer. Um, and first of all, I can kind of feel already how smooth it is compared to the in motion. Now, maneuverability, that's a different story. <laughs> so it, it kind of, it feels really good having this big wheel and the bumps are really good. Um, you can't feel them that much. I've pumped the tire up um, to about 40 psi. So it recommended between 35 and 40 psi. You know, I perhaps would like a bit less than it maybe. Um, I had a bit less than it yesterday and that felt a bit more comfortable. But with regards to maneuverability, I think I just need to kind of get the hang of it. Now, I've got my hand gel for the supermarket and I've got a mask. 
Now where I live, it's the sort of place where people probably wouldn't wear a mask to go into the um, supermarket. It's kind of a bit polite around here, which I love. Uh, however, um, my sister, my half-sister's mum died this morning from coronavirus. So I've taken the decision to forget that and just stay safe. So I'm not, probably not going to be able to get any long shots today just because I need to be in and out really. I can't kind of set shots up. But just imagine like, I don't know, imagine a retired Power Ranger. I uh, imagine a retired Power Ranger making a comeback uh, on a King Song and you'll get the idea of um, what I look like. But first impressions, the wheel is absolutely beautiful. It is just so comfortable. So the pedals are um, really comfortable. Um, they're bigger and wider than the Emotion. What I'm finding though is I just kind of have to double check myself to make sure that my feet are in the right place. Because I, I, I was struggling to get there earlier and I worked out that my feet were pointing in the wrong direction because there is that extra room on me. So I've got the speed set to 20 miles an hour. So the first beeps, which I keep missing, come in at 20, the next beeps 22, and the next beeps uh, 24. I'm keeping within the first beeps. Uh, it is different. It's all good till I fall off. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm keeping very cautious on this wheel. I do not want another face plant. I think the wheel's also restricted as well when you first get it for, for the first couple of hundred miles. And if you know more than me, then please put in the comments. And it's just been superb. I mean, really, really clean. Let's check my feet. Yeah, they're not in the right place again. It's just so smooth. I've got a few wobbles. I think that's me. Um, I'm not completely relaxed on this wheel yet. But all in all, it's a really good place to be. Tilt back there. I'm going down a hill. That's why that happened. Um, yeah, well, I don't know what more I can say about this wheel. I really am enjoying it. It's nowhere near as manoeuvrable as the in motion because that was a 16-inch wheel with a slim tyre. I think as time comes, as time goes on, I'll get better with it and I'll perhaps be able to um, get a bit, get more manoeuvrability out of it, a lot more manoeuvrability out of it. I'm still very new. I've done hundreds of miles on the I've done probably less than 10 on this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button if you can, I appreciate it. And also subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, I got to the supermarket and there was a 300 meter queue just to get in the door. I don't need bread and butter that badly. Uh, and I found some wine in the garage. So I'm okay for our card as well. The wheel is fantastic. Um, it's certainly a step up from the V8. Now, it is more than twice the price, so you'd expect that. Um, I'd kind of compare the V8 to our Volkswagen e-Golf and this more to our Tesla. It is just a superb, really good cruising wheel. It's got this lovely off-road tire and I can't wait to get into the woods it's a drive to the woods, so we're not really meant to be doing that now. We should just be staying local, getting our exercise. Um, but I really want to go to the woods. There's some fantastic trails for this. I'm gonna wait until my cover arrives, so I've got a lovely cover coming for this, which I'll review as well. Um, I've got some thoughts on this wheel. Now, I'm, I would say I was just about an intermediate rider on the in motion. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly back to novice on this. Not as bad as when um, I first got a wheel, but I certainly have got the wobbles again. Um, the weight's very different. It's a different size. The ride's different. It does make uh, a big difference, actually. It's not like riding a road bike and then riding a mountain bike. It's a bigger difference than that. I've also found so far it's a bit top heavy. I'm not, I think, I don't know if more of the batteries are at the top and the circuitry, but it's a little bit more uh, wavy at the top. But that may be because the pedals are bigger 
I'm not getting my feet in the right position for me. So stay with me as I make more videos with this because I'll get to know the wheel better and I'll be able to tell you more about it. One thing I would recommend with any wheel is to slime the tires. Just buy some slime, put it in and take it for a spin because I'm not a mechanic. Everything I take apart does not go back together the way it, it was before. So put some slime in the tyres and hopefully avoid a puncture and you might have, I don't know, a thousand or 1500 miles before you need to kind of um, change the tyre. So all in all, so far, I am absolutely over the moon. I'm absolutely over the moon with Scooters Direct. The price for this wheel was really good um, compared to other sites in the UK. It was um, about 25% uh, cheaper. So the cheapest supplier I could find was about £2,000, uh, just under 2000 This was under 1500 from Scooters Direct. I certainly recommend them. I think they've been brilliant with their customer service and, and delivery. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll put some more videos around me. Oh, I'm in the middle, so I'll just put them around here. Uh, until next time, see you soon.